welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course sandhi in paninian grammar currently we are studying hal sandhi or consonant sandhi hal sandhi is the sandhi which replaces hal hal is a consonant we stated that hal sandhi can be classified broadly into two ekasthanika ekadesha where there is one substituent which gets replaced by one substitute and the second one is ekasthanika dvyadesha one substituent being substituted or replaced by two substitutes the ekasthanika ekadesha is further classified into two purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha and also para nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha this classification is explicitly stated primarily because of the use of the instrumental case in the hal sandhi notably the shtutva sandhi and the shtutva sandhi the sutras stoshtunashtuhu and shtunashtuhu these two sutras state the shtutva sandhi and the shtutva sandhi respectively and while stating these two sandhis the sutra employs the instrumental case which is very unique this did not happen in the ach sandhi and is not going to happen also in the visarga sandhi as well as the swadhi sandhi this is a peculiarity only of hal sandhi and that is the reason why this particular classification of purva nimittaka and para nimittaka has to be explicitly stated currently we are dealing with the para nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha and this is represented diagrammatically in this fashion where you have a followed by b and they are in close proximity in the samhita mode where b is the para nimitta right hand side environment in this environment a gets substituted by c so para nimittaka ekasthanika eka desha right hand side environment in that environment one substituent a is substituted by one substitute namely c the input is a plus b and the output is c plus b a is replaced by c we are looking at the anuswara sandhi as well as the para savarna sandhi in this particular context and we have already seen the sutras explaining these two types of sandhis we also studied the examples of ma occurring at the end of the pada and then the ma is substituted by an anuswara and then that anuswara gets substituted by a para savarna optionally by the application of the sutra va padantasya now in this lecture we study examples of some other types for example ma coming at the end of an internal pada we have already studied the concept of internal pada internal pada is the term that is applied to a pratipadika when certain suffixes follow they start with the sutra 412 and continue up to 54160 in all these sutras several suffixes are stated now starting from 412 omitting the first five if we look at the rest of them then 
in this particular set the suffixes that begin with consonants when they follow the pratipadika which comes immediately before them is termed as pada for example this bhyam suffix bhyam is a consonant beginning suffix stated in 412 it is not amongst the first five and therefore when bhyam follows pum which is a pratipadika actually its pums so is deleted this pums becomes pada internally this is the internal pada so this pum pratipadika is an internal pada in the environment of the consonant beginning suffix and so on so here are some examples where ma coming at the end of the internal pada becomes the substituent for the application of monoswaraha and that ma is substituted by the anuswar by the application of the rule monoswaraha so when we have pum plus bhyam the pratipadika actually is pums plus bhyam and so sa is deleted now we have pum plus bhyam and in this case now pum plus bhyam this ma coming at the end of the pada is substituted by an anuswara so we have pum plus bhyam as the output generated by the application of the sutra monuswaraha then this becomes the input for anuswarasya yai par savarnah and then and this anuswara is substituted by the parasavarna of this bha and the nasal parasavarna of this bha is ma so we get pum bhyam this anuswara gets substituted by ma and so we get the form pum bhyam as the output similarly we have kim plus bhyam once again the suffix bhyam is taken and kim is the pratipadika so kim is the pada because this is the consonant beginning suffix stated in 412 and this is not amongst the first five this is the instrumental dative and ablative dual suffix tritiya chaturthi panchami dvivachana pratyaya and so this is a pada and ma coming at the end of a pada monuswara applies and substitutes ma by an anuswara in this way and we have kim plus bhyam as the output generated then we have once again anuswara getting substituted by ma so we have kim plus bhyam and kim bhyam here is one more example where we have chiram plus tana tana is the suffix stated by the sutra in panini's grammar sayam chiram pranhi prage avyayebhyah tyutyulau tutch this is the sutra in the fourth chapter and tana is the suffix over there chiram is the pada to which this suffix tana is added so now this ma coming at the end of this pratipadika chiram followed by a consonant beginning suffix stated in the fourth chapter so this ma becomes an anuswara by the application of the sutra monuswara so this is the output generated chiram and tana this becomes an input for anuswarasya yai parasavarna and so this anuswara is substituted by the savarna of the par sound that is t and the nasal parasavarna of t is n so we have chiran and tana and so we get chiran tana as the desired output generated this is how m coming at the end of the internal pada gets substituted by the anuswara 
and that anaswara then gets substituted by the parasavarana. <coughs> After having studied the Anuswara substitute that takes place of ma, let us now, ma coming at the end of a pada, let us now study examples of this sutra, Naschapadhantasya Jhali, in which consonants na and ma coming in the middle of the pada and not at the end of the pada when jhal follows are substituted by an anaswara. We have already studied this sutra, let us take a recap of the meaning of this sutra and then let us go study the examples of this particular sutra. What this sutra means is the following. Immediately before a jhal sounds na and also ma which appear not at the end of a pada are substituted by and anaswara. What is a jhal? Jhal means all consonants minus the fifth as well as yavaral. This is a jhal. So I repeat, immediately before a jhal sounds na and ma which appear not at the end of a pada are substituted by an anaswara. So, if we have na and ma coming in the middle of the pada, not at the end of a pada, followed by jhal, so this must be part of the same pada, na or ma plus jhal and then this na or ma is substituted by an anuswara. So, we get the output anuswara plus jhal by the application of this particular sutra Naschapadantasya Jhali. So this can be shown in the form of a diagram in this manner. These are the various examples and in this case we are following the order of the sounds stated in the Jhal Pratyahara that is Jhabhai Gharadhash, Jabagadhash etc. So, first we have the example of the verbal root where bh comes at the end of the verbal root and na comes before this bh. So, we have skanbh, the verbal root, skanbh, this na is not occurring at the end of the pada, obviously, bh is the jhal that comes immediately after it. So, now this na is substituted by an anaswara by the application of the sutra Naschapadantasya Jhali. This is the output generated. Skam bha. And then anuswarasya pai yai parasavarnaha. This sutra applies and then this anaswara is substituted by the parasavarna, the savarna of bha. The nasal parasavarna of bha is ma. So this is the output generated. Skam bha. This is the verbal root. In fact, all the examples shown on these slides, they are that of the verbal roots. So, for example, the verbal root is stated is one gh, where na is followed by gh, gh is jhal. So, immediately before this jhal, na is substituted by an anaswara by the application of this particular sutra. Naschapadantasya Jhali and so the output generated is Vangha, Anuswara is the substitute and then this becomes an input for Anuswarasya Yai Parasavarnaha and so this Anuswara is substituted by the Savarna of this Gha which is the nasal Parasavarna which is Ng and so the output generated by the application of Anuswarasya Yai Parasavarnaha is Vangha. This is still a verbal root and then it is further processed. Similarly, Bandha Na is followed by Dha which is part of Jhal and so Naschapadantasya Jhali applies 
and then this na is substituted by an anaswara, so we get bandha. This becomes an input for anaswara siyayi parasavarnaha and this anaswara is substituted by the savarna of dha, the nasal savarna of this dha is na, so the output generated by the application of 8458 anuswarasya yai para is bandha. This is still a verbal root and then this is processed further. Similarly, we have janja, the verbal root, in which na is followed by j, which is a jhal, and so naschapadantasya jhali applies which substitutes this na by an anaswara and this particular output is generated. This becomes an input for anuswarasya yai parasavarnaha and this anuswara is substituted by the parasavarna. The nasal savarna of this j is ya, so the output generated is jainj. Similarly, we have kunba in which na is followed by b, which is a jhal, so naschapadantasya jhali applies and the output generated is kumba, where anuswara is the substitution and then this becomes an input for anuswarasya yai para savarnaha and so this anuswara is substituted by the savarna of this b, the nasal savarna of this b is ma, so the output generated is kumba. Then we have ranga, ranga and na is followed by g which is a jhal. So na is substituted by an anaswara ranga by the application of the sutra nashtapadantasya jhali and then this becomes an input for anaswarasya yai para savarnaha. So this anaswara is substituted by the savarna of this g, g and the nasal savarna of this ga is ma, so the output generated is ranga. Similarly, we have the verbal root gand, and then this na is followed by d, that is a jhal, and so naschapadantasya jhali applies, and the output generated is gand. Anuswarasya yai parasavarana applies and then this anuswara is substituted by the savarana of this d, the nasal savarana of d is na, so the output generated is gand. Similarly, kland, na is followed by d which is a jhal, so naschapadantasya jhali applies and the output generated is this and this becomes the input for anuswarasya yai parasavarnaha and so the anuswara gets substituted by the savarna of d, the nasal savarna of d is na, so the output generated is kland. Then we have unkha, na followed by kha which is a jhal, so anuswarasya so Naschapadantasya jhali applies and substitutes this na by an anuswara unkh and then anuswarasya yai para savarnaha applies which substitutes this anuswara by the savarna of this kh. So the nasal savarna of kh is na. So we get the output generated unkh. Similarly, tunpha na is followed by ph. The Shtapadantasya Jhali applies and the output generated is the Anuswara Tumpha. Anuswarasya Yai Parasavarna applies and the output generated is Tumpha. Similarly, Uncha, where Na is followed by Cha, the Shtapadantasya Jhali applies and the output generated is Uncha. Anuswarasya Yai Parasavarna applies and the output generated is Uncha. Similarly, mantha is the verbal root, where na is followed by tha, and the, the sutra naschapadantasya jhali applies, 
and this na is substituted by an anaswara mantra and then anaswarasya yai parasavarna applies and this anaswara is substituted by the savarna of th and the nasal savarna of th is an so the output generated is mantth similarly we have punth as the verbal root na is followed by th so na is substituted by an anaswara by the sutra nascha padantasya jhali and then this becomes an input for the sutra anuswarasya yai parasavarna so this anuswara is substituted by the savarna of th the nasal savarna of th is na so we have punth as the output generated similarly we have munch where na is followed by ch so na is substituted by anuswara by the application of the sutra nascha padantasya jhali and then anuswarasya yai parasavarna applies and substitutes this anuswara by the savarna of ch the nasal savarna of ch is y so we have the output mui ch similarly runt na is followed by t nascha padantasya jhali applies and anuswara is the substitution that replaces n so we get runt as the output this becomes the input for anuswarasya yai parasavarna and this anuswara is then substituted by the savarna of t which is an the nasal savarna so we get the output runt then we have ant the verbal root where na is followed by t so nascha padantasya jhali applies and this na is substituted by an anuswara so we get ant as the output this becomes the input for anuswarasya yai parasavarna and so this anuswara is substituted by na we get the output ant then we have mank as the verbal root where na is followed by k nascha padantasya jhali applies and substitutes this na by an anuswara mank anuswarasya yai parasavarna applies and substitutes this anuswara by the savarna of k the nasal savarna of k is ng so the output generated is mank then we have kanp the verbal root in which na is followed by p which is chal and so we get na substituted by anuswar kamp in this fashion anuswar se yahi par sabarna ha will apply and will substitute this anuswar by m so we get kamp then we have nins na followed by s which is a jhal so na becomes an anuswar so we have nims now this s does not appear in the pratyahara yai so there is no scope for parasavarna substitution this anuswara remains as it is similarly brinha na is followed by h which is the jhal so na gets substituted by an anuswara so we get brumha now this h is not part of yai so this anuswara is not further processed no further substitution takes place these are the examples of na coming at the in the pad not at the end of the pad followed by jhal let us take an example where ma is coming in the middle of a pad and is followed by jhal and then this ma gets substituted by the anuswara for example we have a and kram plus sya plus te and this ma is followed by s which is a jhal and this is in the middle of the pad not at the end of a pad so this ma is substituted by an anuswara a kram sya te 
Similarly, let us take some more examples of Parasavarana Vidina Pada. For example, the word Anka, this Anaswara is to be substituted by a Savarana of Ka, which is the nasal Savarana of Ka, which is Nga. So, Anka. The word Anka in Sanskrit should be written like this, Anka, and not like this. Similarly, Pancha, and this Anaswara takes the nasal Savarana substitute of Cha, and so the substitution is Nya, so the word derived is Pancha. Similarly, Kantha, the nasal substitute of Tha, which is nasal Na, that becomes the substitute in place of Anaswara, so we get the output Kantha always. Similarly, Vinda and the Parasavarana of this Anaswara is Na, so we always get Vinda, so always write Govinda with this Na. Similarly, Shampa and this Anaswara is followed by P. So, this Anuswara always gets substituted by the Savarana of P. So, the nasal Savarana of P is M. So, the output generated is Shampa with M. This is how Parasavarana works in a Pada. Parasavarana within a Pada is obligatory or mandatory. Only at the end of a Pada, it is optional. This is very important to remember. After having studied the Anuswara Sandhi and Parasavarana Sandhi in detail with several examples, let us now look at Parasavarana Sandhi in some other environment. This is different than the Parasavarana that comes in place of Anuswara. This Parasavarana is replacing two. That is why this is slightly different. So, let us study Parasavarana Sandhi in another environment, namely in place of Tu. The sutra stating this particular fact is Torli at 460. Torli has got two padas, Toho and Li. Toho is 6 slash 1 of 2. Tu stands for Tathadadhana and 6 slash 1 is in place of. So, in place of that is Tatha Dadhana is the meaning of Toho. Li is 7 slash 1 of L, which means immediately before the sound L. Parasavaranaha is 1 slash 1 of Parasavarana, which is continued from the previous sutra Anuswarasya Yai Parasavaranaha. Having put all these words and their meanings together, we get the meaning of the sutra Torli. 8460 stating the Parasavarana. Immediately before the sound L, Tu will be substituted by the homogeneous of the latter that is L. I repeat, immediately before the sound L, Li, Tu will be substituted, Toho, by the homogeneous of the latter, Parasavarana, that is L in this particular case. So these will be the template examples when we have T followed by L, this T will be replaced by L and the output generated is L plus L. Similarly, Th plus L will be the input, Torli 8460 applies and the output generated is L plus L. Similarly, the plus L is the input and the output generated is L plus L again. Similarly, the plus L is the input. The is substituted by L, so the output generated is L plus L. Then we have N plus L as the input and the output generated is the nasal L. N is nasal and so the substitution over here which is closest to N is nasal L. This is also the savarana of per sound L.
So, this is the overall substitute nasal L. Let us now look at the specific examples. So, T plus L is the input and L plus L is the output and here are the examples. Yat plus Lobe. So, T is the Stani followed by L. This is the compound. So, Samhita is obligatory. This T is substituted by L by the application of the Sutra Torli and finally we get Yallopa a compound. Similarly, we have apatat plus loke. There are two separate padas over here. Apatat has got the at the end followed by loke which has got la at the beginning. So, there is this samhita intended by the speaker and here the then gets substituted by la. So, we have apatal loke, apatal loke as the desired output generated by this sutra. Now, let us look at the examples of th plus l as the input and l plus l as the output. So, we have this example math plus labha and this th is substituted by l and so we get mal labha and finally mal labha. Then we have yudh plus laya. This is an example of the plus l as the input and the output generated is l plus l. So, yudh plus laya where the is substituted by l. So, we have yul laya, yul laya as the finally generated output. Then the plus l as the input totally applies and the output generated is l plus l. So, we have two examples over here, tad plus lina as part of the compound and the becomes the substituent, the is substituted by l by this sutra and so we get the output tad lina. And then in the sentence tad plus lupyate, the appears at the end of this pada followed by l at the beginning of this second pada in the samhita mode. So, this the is substituted by l. So, we have tallupyate, tallupyate as the output generated. Finally, we have na plus la as the input and the output generated by the application of this sutra torli is l plus l, l nasal plus l. So, we have vidwan plus likhati, where with na comes at the end of this pada. L comes at the beginning of this second pada and now this N is substituted by the Savarna of this L and that Savarna is the nasal L. So, we have Vidwal Likhati, Vidwal Likhati. To summarize, we studied the Anusvara Sandhi and the Parasavarna Sandhi in detail. From the concept onwards up to the template examples and then the specific examples. We noted that this applies at different levels as far as the external sandhi is concerned as well as the internal sandhi is concerned. So, this particular sandhi notably the Parasavarna sandhi is optional as well as obligatory. We also studied another example of Parasavarna sandhi namely Torli. We continue studying the next types of Hal Sandhi in the coming lecture. Thank you very much for your patience.